<laughs> Matt, joining me on the desk, and of course, Bonneville Pontiac, coming off a couple of back-to-back -back shutouts, looking to keep that momentum going. Yeah, that's right, looking to push their winning streak to three games last night, but uh, not an easy task as they took on the Fort McMurray Oil Barons. Pick things up in the first, Michael Alvana makes the long pass to Brady Backey, who finds mesh. Billy Zach Fort can't figure out how that got past him. Yaks up 1-0 on Backey's first of the season. Minutes later, Dylan McCombie would try the same, but Fortin shuts the door. That was one of 42 saves of the game. Bit of a skirmish in the second, little face washing and chirping. However, cooler heads would prevail. Barron's tied it in the second with the Yaks up a man. A bad pass by Mitch Fritch gives Jetlin Houcher a partial break. He makes no mistake for his league leading ninth goal of the season. And the kids on a mission early on as the mob score two on answered en route to a two to one win, snapping the Pontiac's two game winning streak. Now, despite out shooting Fork Mac 43 to 22, head coach Rick Swan says his team deserved a better fate. You know, from a, a structure standpoint, playing against a, a very good hockey team, limiting them to 22 shots. I, I think that that's a, a positive part of our game that we need to take moving forward. We played good. I mean, uh, we talk about uh, it's not the chances that uh, we give up, or not the chances that we get, it's the chances that we give up. And we gave up two chances tonight and they scored on them. And uh, other than that, we played a pretty good game. A lot of positives to take from this young season. I think that we have to continue to focus on us. And I think that teams at this time of the year can't really be worried about the structure and about the team that we're playing against. Uh, more so than what we need to do and control what we can control as, as a hockey team. And we can control how we prepare our guys. Well, after a huge year last season, coming off a trip to the AMHL Finals, the Baker Hughes Bobcats will have a completely new look as they head into the 2014-15 season, which begins this weekend. The Midget AAA program took a huge hit this year. After losing the likes of Kel Clegg, Mason Shaw and Andrew Kep, the Baker Hughes Bobcats will be a very young team when they head into the new season. You know, we're going to be competitive every night and obviously our goal is to make the playoffs and go from there and you never know what will happen. It will be a lot of grind, a lot of grind games, a lot of close games, one, two goal games, but we'll be able to battle through it. We just have to play our system, Rosary, and uh, shoot the puck on net, get some rebounds and whatnot, and I think we'll climb the standings. It's not all bad news as there are a handful of players from last year's Universal Heat team that created great chemistry last year. Th those nine, uh, six boys are pretty... Uh, Pretty talented uh, group there, and uh, uh, they work hard, and they're just trying to fit in with these older boys. But they're, you know, they're working hard. There is a lot of us, a lot of young guys here. Uh, chemistry is rolling hot, even in practice. All the guys are making good passes, and we're ready to go for this weekend. But for those 15-year-olds to have success at the midget AAA level, they will rely heavily on the veterans to guide the ship. Well, they can. Uh, Relay some experience, you know, playing the midget uh, level. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit bigger and stronger and faster than the Bantams. So, you know, they can help out, and, uh, you know, I'm sure that um, they'll do that. We'll probably be more of like a like an emotional leader more than like a, a playing leader because there's so many great 99s and 98s coming up that will we'll still play good, but I think it'll be okay. The Bobcats will begin the season at home this Saturday before heading on the road the next day. Of course, a couple wins to start the season is ideal. However, the team have a couple other things they'd like to see this weekend. It's a long season, though. You always want to just take baby steps, getting better every day. That's our goal, you know, uh, getting better every day, and we do it in practice. Just build chemistry with your line mates. Get used to playing with each other. Get used to your position, getting back into the swing of things. And that is your first look at sports. Jard has your weather details coming up. The Loycomp Barons are back at work after suffering their first loss of the season last week to the Holy Rosary Raiders. However, the road doesn't get any easier as they get ready to take on the undefeated Bonneville Voyagers. After being handed a 31-1 beatdown last Friday to the Holy Rosary Raiders, the Barons spotted a couple problems when watching film. Just little mental errors. Uh, we took a couple plays off mentally and they capitalized on it. And that's, what, that's what good teams do, but physically I thought we were pretty good. I thought we competed well and, and I think we'll be right there next time we play. We were definitely sloppy on our pass game. Our rush game wasn't where I'd like it to be. Uh, our defense held their own, but overall we can improve on our effort. Now even though the loss came to their rivals, it hasn't put a damper on anyone's spirit as they move forward. We take every game one at a time. It doesn't matter that they're a crosstown rival. Yes, the crowd thinks it's a bigger game, but for us it's just another game. In the it's another team. We'll, uh, we'll regroup and we'll get ready for uh, Bonneville. And a loss hurts no matter who you're playing. It would, it would hurt just as bad if we were playing Cold Lake or, or Bonneville or St. Paul. 
Speaking of Bonneville, they just happen to be the Barons' opponent for this upcoming week. The Purple and Gold will be using this game as an opportunity to bounce back and hand the Voyageurs their first loss of the season. They're on a roll right now. Uh, they've beaten three teams. They're 3-0, and, and we're coming off a loss. Uh, I think it's big for our confidence that we, we come back and, and really uh, really come out firing and, and, uh, and finish this thing off right. It's pretty important. We'll just play hard and hopefully come out with a win next week. It'll be a tough test. They're definitely a better team than they were last year. Um, we've beat them last year, but every year is a new year. Um, we have to work hard. We're working hard in practice, trying to get better every week, even though uh, we're just coming off a loss. We're trying not to get in the round.